Hello everyone, welcome to my review for I Am Mother, a Netflix original um, about a young girl who is being raised by a robot who she calls Mother. And that's basically the basic premise as this robot mother uh, raises this girl into becoming the best that she can be. Um, she has about like 63,000 embryos and um, she um, raises one at a time. I really like this movie. Um, there's a lot to like. Um, the third act gets a little wonky, but first I'm just going to talk about what I liked. So the visual effects in this movie are actually quite good. Sometimes it's a bit much and you can kind of notice that it's not really um, all that high of a budget. I think the main, um, the main actress is quite good. Uh, the main actress stars Clara Rugard and we have Hilary Swank and we have Rose Brynn as the mother. So this movie is um, not that, um, ha doesn't have a very big cast, it's very um, a bottled up film, mainly takes place in one location um, throughout. Um, it's very tight, the plot is um, very good, I think everything's well directed, lots of great camera work, lots of good directing, uh, good performances, I think the mother is both compassionate and kind of like haunting and like it goes a bit horror sometimes. Um, this movie is really really suspenseful um, mainly for the first two acts and then it kind of gets back into the swing of things towards the end but um, very compelling story. I thought the premise was like really interesting and I, um, I really liked how mysterious the movie was um, mainly and that you really did not know what to expect, who to trust. The movie takes a um, it, it is a little slow until you meet the um, uh, the woman who no one has a name in here. She's just known as woman. It's Hillary Swank's character. Uh, she once you meet her, then the movie kind of starts to pick up a bit with the mystery and the who to trust. And but um, and before that, it's all pretty interesting seeing how she lives. You get a little montage of her growing up, all these embryo, and you're kind of just wondering why it isn't the. Um, mother birthing more children and like what's going on what's uh the outside of the planet looking like um we're told that there's a virus that um that is um that's killed the planet so she has to stay indoors but um there are some questionable things about that and when she starts meeting this uh, other woman and the movie really starts to pick up on the ambiguity and the mystery of like you really want to see what's how it's going to all unravel but um I think I actually will go into spoilers into this because it's really hard to talk about this movie without it. So the ending, um, so there's there's this part where they um, escape, right? Uh, the mother and the woman, they escape. Um, I found this part to kind of drag a bit. It felt pointless to uh, have it, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it's like they escape through all that trouble and then 10 minutes later you find out that she lied not even ten, like five minutes later you find out that the woman actually lied and that there are no other humans she was kind of lonely and that she wanted you know someone to to be with and I'm, I'm assuming that if she told her that she was alone she probably wouldn't have come with her um so she convinced her that but she was lying about that there was a lot of twists at the end that kind of just felt like there's too much happening and that whole segment felt pointless because um the girl, um, just uh, Cl Clara Rugard's character, just went back to the her mother's um, base anyway. So that whole segment was more to just I felt like show you what Earth is like, which I kind of didn't really want. I liked how ambiguous like it was. Like I kind of just wanted to have his own picture in my mind of what happened to Earth, and I didn't really like how they just showed it for like no reason. Uh, my final, well I had two more complaints really. Um, so the woman I felt like wasn't really much of a character. She was just there to like support the main character and then that's it. She was like not really her own person I feel like and felt a bit shallow in my opinion. Um, other than that, I mean that's not like too big of a thing because like the main actress like really really carries the film. Um, and she has, and she, um, Hilary Swank puts on a very good performance, it's just her character is not really too much of a person, I, I think. And um, towards the end we find out that um, there's 
Uh, <laughs> uh, Clara Rugard's character has a brother, and she tries to go save it. That's why she goes back to the base. But then it turns out the mother is actually the one that killed all of the human race, or is basically killing all of the human race. There, um, she's only um, you know allowing the ones that do perfect on the exams. She has to take these exams, and that's how she finds out if they're like superior and like intelligent enough to live on the planet and if they don't live up to those expectations she basically just kills them so um the reason why she her she allows a second person to be born the brother is because she feels as if the girl is ready enough and i feel like that's what um hillary swank's uh purpose was she says at the end it's a bit ambiguous but i'm pretty sure the reason her the, the purpose was for her to come in and uh let her grow clara rugard's character to grow and to become uh and to raise these people because she feels like she's kind of like the perfect human at this point and that she'll be able to take on this responsibility and that was always her plan but um there are a lot of twists that are kind of thrown at you at the end that this mother is actually responsible for everything and that um and that uh you know it, it gets a bit convoluted towards the end which is like kind of disappointing because the first two acts are so good in this movie and the third act isn't bad it's just it doesn't hold up with the rest it just it becomes a bit of much of a movie there's a lot more you see more than you kind of want to you see all the other droids you see earth and then you know, the mysterious parts are all shown to you. Um, it does end pretty ambiguously, but it's still just like, I wish it was shown a little bit, a little bit less, but um, it's honestly fine with me. The movie's very well uh, acted. I think it's, for the most part, very well written and directed. Um, honestly, this movie's pretty solid. If you guys, <laughs> you guys want something to watch on Netflix, it's right there. A uh, very good movie. It is a little long, which is a bit of a, which is my like last complaint. Um, the movie is a bit longer than it needs to be if they just cut out that section with them going outside and all that. That was like a good 10 minutes. It kind of ruined the pace a bit. Um, it, it sort of just felt like a different movie because it just goes from being this bottled up contained prison escape movie into this like post-apocalyptic thing for a tiny bit. And then it jumps back to being the suspense thriller that it was. So I just didn't really get the point of that. Um, I feel like they could just they could have just cut that out from the movie, but other than that, this is a very solid movie. I think I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. Um, very good movie. I would check it out. Um, it's on Netflix, so <laughs> yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and tell me what you thought about it in the description below.